Over 60,000 farmers engaged in sustainable intensification practices aimed at increasing crop productivity and production in southern province have suffered setbacks due to the negative impact of climate change. International Maize and Wheat Improvement Center cropping system agronomist Dr. Christian Theofuda says the diversification strategies that help to mitigate the risk of climate change have suffered setbacks in which maize registered much stress due to prolonged dry spells. The affected farmers are practicing sustainable intensification practices through the support from the International Maize and Wheat Improvement Center, Okami Ustawi and Sustainable Intensification of Smallholder Farming Systems, CIFAS, funded by the European Union in Choma, Monze and Mazabuka. Great technologies, conservation agriculture and other climate smart agriculture technologies fail when the rainfall becomes too low. But there's hope. Some of the plots that we have been seeing, if they get a good rain shower in the next few days, they can still survive and produce something. And Southern Province Agriculture Coordinator Dr. Max Chombe says strip cropping on farm trials are used by combining maize and legumes through crop intensification and conservation agriculture to conserve moisture. We are practicing conservation agriculture in all the trials and it has shown that it is better to practice especially in southern province which is proving to be a dry province compared to the other provinces like the northern where the rains are enough. Dr. Klaus Dropman is CIMIT consultant. The most striking thing that we've seen is the effect of the drought the past four to five weeks in some places and um, that it had the effect that it had on the, the crops. In some places it has been terrible. Those plant populations are also under severe stress and we, we fear that we lose the, the harvest on the maize. Reporting, Florence Cabutu in Monze, Southern Province.